Hey guys, I'm Lisa and today I would like to share my experience how I wrote my final thesis with a little bit less stress grab a cup of tea or coffee and let's start Now we can start Briefly about myself and uh, the university I'm studying I studied in University of Economics in Prague, Faculty of Informatics and Statistics. And topic I choose, the name I don't remember, sorry. <laughs> Analysis of mobile social media applications, trends and developments. This is the topic. <laughs> I wrote it in Czech language. Maybe it sounds a little bit strange in English, but whatever. Let's start with the first tip. Better to start early, but let's be real. <laughs> I guess I started just in time. In other case, <laughs> I wouldn't make it. If you're gonna start as early as possible, it will help you and you won't be in a hurry last few days. Because also, for example, as I told you, I wrote my final thesis in Czech language, and for example, this is not my mother tongue and um, you need to be sure that you wrote it right. In my case, I just finished my thesis the week before the deadline and I sent it to the teacher for the control. Also, I sent it to the grammar check because I was sure I have a lot of mistakes there. And it took me, I guess, three days. So it's better to finish your work in advance, like week before, because most of the time the grammar check, they are working only on working days. And uh, yeah, you won't be in a hurry. Just think about your dates. We are moving to the next tip, the deadline plan. And this is actually the easiest thing you can do, but also that helped me so much. Because uh, when I started to write my thesis, I also started to use the Google Calendar more. And I just planned little things so I can see results. Because when you are working alone on something, like for example your thesis, you don't feel that you do anything and also like nobody pushing you to do something. Sometimes, yeah, you can have a teacher who gonna ask you that if you did something or not, but most of the time you're doing it by yourself and you need to plan what to do and how to do this. And for example, I just planned even sometimes uh, to write the paragraph and I just added it to the calendar because like I had no motivation, so I had to push myself. And this deadline plan, you can see the whole picture of your work, your final date, which can motivate you so much. As I told you, sometimes it's difficult even to start. And now we are moving to the next point, use templates. And it's not like random templates, but I guess every university has something what you just have to use in your work. And I just downloaded this template from my university. So I can use it for my topic and my work. And because of it, I had the real object. Again, I could see and uh, work with it. It also helped me to overcome the fear of the blank page, which I had, I guess. Next point, change the location. Because sometimes, you're working at home, you're working on it at university. And all the time I don't feel productive somewhere anymore, I just move somewhere else next time. And the most productive I was in the library of my university and in the National uh, Library of Technology in Prague. If you're also in Prague, as I am, you can find many cool places to study in. There's a lot of cool libraries or cafes. You'll definitely find something you're gonna like. We're gonna move to the next point. Consultations with the teacher.
teacher. In my university, every student who can write the final thesis, they have a teacher. You have someone who will lead you and also somehow push you to do something. It's up to you to decide if you would like to chat through the teams or whatever you have or just come to university for the consultations. But my advice, it's not about your comfort now. It's better to try everything and just see what works for you better. Because sometimes, yeah, that's comfy to sit at home and just chat on laptop. Maybe your teacher don't really answer that often. So it's better just to come to your university and ask him face to face. And uh, that's going to be much more productive than just sitting and waiting for nothing. And I mostly just came to university, talked to him, got all the answers or got new questions and new things I have to do for the next meeting. And it's also, it makes you one more deadline. You have to finish something for this date so you can show something. Use it please, guys, because this really helps. And you remember, right, that the teacher approves the work to be sent. Discuss some mistakes you can make, possibly. That's much easier when you're gonna discuss them, so you're gonna move forward faster. And now I would like to tell you about special topics. And the first one, that's sport. Yeah, you can tell me, like, Lisa, what you are talking about, but we are also here to talk about our mental health, about our physical health. You're sitting a lot, <laughs> you're writing a lot, right? And you need to move a little bit, just a little bit. You don't need to be a sport guru and do workouts every day. I did workouts every time I had exams and uh, when I felt stressed, it always helped me to release the stress because it works with our hormones and it helps even better to digest. That's important, guys, because you know what we are eating while exams, right? We are eating the best food ever. <laughs> My workouts mostly not longer than one hour and even more often like around 10 minutes only. Three times a week. I guess that's, that's good. But sometimes I can do it even more often because I just enjoy it and I can feel this difference before workout and after workout. But guys, important thing, don't push yourself if you hate something, just better to decide to do maybe easier workout or maybe just change the sport you would like to do. For example, like if you don't like running, just better not to run, just go to the swimming pool or just go to do some yoga, volleyball, football, whatever. Just decide what you prefer and don't push yourself because we are pushing ourselves to do the work, <laughs> the final that is, and that's enough for now. <laughs> Next point, music. I guess most of us now love listening to music and we are enjoying it and this also can help us to work productively i know that sometimes that's difficult to sit in a quiet room and stay focused for a long time but even more difficult it can be in a crowded loud space and music can help us to reduce this sound so we can enjoy more the process and just be a little bit more motivated. Everybody here for it, right? You can just find uh, some playlists right on YouTube, like playlists for studying, or um, even on Spotify, I guess you can find some. Sometimes even I listen to my favorite playlists on Spotify and it was good because like, it just, I don't know, 
powered me a little bit so I had energy for the work but also I used an app called Headspace and you can find there a lot of different type of music like classic like lo-fi and some other studying beats and it was pretty useful because you don't need to do anything you just have this app and you can find everything there also i've heard about uh, white noise i didn't use it to be honest and the sound of the nature it also can help you to focus more so try it uh, if you don't like music, maybe this type of audio is going to help you. Meditations. I'm not talking about sitting 30 minutes straight and just doing nothing and thinking about nothing, but sometimes just one minute when you can stop, relax, like lay down maybe, or sit comfortably and just don't think about your work. <laughs> because yeah, that's difficult sometimes to refocus on something and sometimes you just don't know what to do anymore and you're stuck. And in that case, you just need to stop for a while. You also can just go for a walk, better in nature or also again with the music. I did this one minute technique where you just breathe in a circle in four steps, you just inhale, hold it, exhale, hold it, and again. And this is easy, and this is also helps you to calm down and just relax a little bit. If you like the meditations, for sure you can sit for a long time, but I can't. <laughs> That's why actually I use this technique and it helped me. For meditations also, the same app as for the music, that's Headspace. There's a lot of meditations just right for studying or for other topics and that's also a good thing, I guess. You can check out this app. It's not sponsored, by the way, just I use it. <laughs> and other techniques I used. I love the app Study Bunny. <laughs> Because there is a little bunny and he is sad when you are not studying. He is just literally crying. <laughs> the app just keeps track of time. And in some cases, I guess, it can even block your phone for this amount of time. Like, for example, you would like to study for 20 minutes. You just choose 20 minutes and you can study straight 20 minutes because you can't use your phone. And also, you don't want... The rabbits to be set, right? <laughs> but also there are some other similar apps and you can choose which one you prefer because like all with different type of animation or uh, I don't know like some other functions maybe <clears throat> but I used only study bunny and also I used forest app where you grow in the trees and I guess you can grow the real tree but study bunny I'm a fan of it also I think you know about Pomodoro and um, oh and life translations of people who are also studying because sometimes you don't have a partner or it can be unproductive to study with someone so this live sessions they kind of help you to focus more because you can't chat with this person you can't be interrupted by this person so you're just studying and you see someone also studying with you and it can help so check out live streams on youtube or on twitch maybe it's gonna help you also and last but not least, and so important to be honest, <clears throat> use your power. What I mean by this? For example, you're working somewhere already and you can write your topic close to your work subject. You had a nice case from work. 
you can use this case in your final thesis if, if you have a permission or also by this I mean if you can speak other languages like as I told you I wrote my final thesis in Czech I can speak English but also I can speak Russian so I searched information not only in Czech and English for sure because most of the information you can find in English but also in Russian search for similar works in other universities in other countries if you know some other languages that's gonna be so easy and really useful because in that case you don't have to do the same work you can just check out what they did already and you can study the list of references they used in their theories it will help you a lot because you can not just copy paste something but use the primary source and maybe even find something more interesting you can find a lot of new sources you can use in your work and it will be a little bit easier because when you are searching from nowhere dude you don't want to do this <laughs> I hope it will help you and I hope you enjoyed these few minutes with me. Don't forget to subscribe, let me know if you have any tips for the others. Let's have a little chat because I guess this topic, that's important kind of. <laughs> have a beautiful day, cheers and you can do this, you can do this, just do this. Mm -hmm.